Kids Church, it is time for Ninja Warrior Judges, Judges of Time! Time. Oh, welcome back, guys. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Are you glad you're here? I'm glad you're here. What about you, Sally? I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad these guys are Sally's here. Sally's glad I'm here. I'm glad that Sally's glad that you guys are here. We're all just so, so glad. Look, guys, last week we saw an amazing performance from Deborah as she smashed the course. Not only that, she showed us how she put her trust in God and got the victory. That's right. Deborah shows us that through the challenges, and the good times, when we keep God as number one, we can push back against the enemy and take the victory. Deborah is just three levels of amazing. She's so awesome. Now today's judge contestant, now he's not one of those gray haired wig guys. He was a tribal leader in a time where the Bible said that there was no king in Israel. So everyone did what was right in their own eyes. That's right. Deborah's victory got them 40 years of peace. But would you believe the Israelites did something wrong again and they, they ended up for seven years under the reign of another enemy. Ugh, oh waste. no. So the Israelites, they cried out to God and God raised up today's judge contestant who led them to victory. Amazing. So guys, if you're ready, we're going to go and see a victory of our own. Oh, yes. That's right. Let's watch Deborah compete with one of our camera crew in a backflip challenge. Let's go. That was amazing. amazing. I got totally dizzy by just watching those backflips, Sally. That looks Sally. so much fun, though. So much fun. Guys, if you want to get on to our show, make sure you get Mum and Dad to send you send us your video to kids at cityimpactchurch.com. We'll see you there. That's right. Now, it's nearly time to meet today's judge contestant. But before we do, we want everyone in the room to jump up on their feet. Come on, jump up, jump up. We're going to get ready. It's time to get ready for our memory verse. We need All to right. warm up. You do, do need to stretches. warm up. Let's get some stretches going. Ugh. Now I need you guys uh, to shout. Are you uh, ready for memory uh, verse? Uh, I, I can't, can't hear them, Brett. Can you hear them? Nope. I'm too busy being awesome at stretching. All right, guys. Shout are out, you guys. ready? Oh, I heard it now. Let's roll memory verse. Hey ninjas, we're going to learn Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. Let's go! Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. Wow, great job! Let's do it again. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all of your ways. Acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. Wow, one more time. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all of your ways. Acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. Great job! That's Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Stronger than mountains, but there was a 
哎呀，好棒，好棒，好。Oh hey boys and girls, I'm Gideon, one of the judges from the Bible. Lots of people have asked me for my secret to being a super ninja warrior. Well, I guess it comes down to realizing who God called me to be. Have you ever felt small or not clever enough? Well, that was me. I thought I was the least in my whole tribe. I felt that there was nothing I could do for God that would have an impact. But was that true? No. God saw me way differently. God saw me as a mighty man of valor. Hiya. One of my biggest fans will tell you what happens next. Isn't Gideon so amazing? I'm his super fan. I think that Gideon is the most relatable out of all of the judges, and I'm so excited to see him compete. Did you know that Gideon was the ultimate underdog? The Bible tells us that Gideon was hiding away from the Midianites when an angel of the Lord appeared to him. The Midianites were some very bad people. They would go and attack the Israelites and steal all of their food. So, the angel of the Lord said to Gideon, "The Lord is with you, mighty warrior." And then the angel said to go grab a group of men and to fight against the Midianite army. At first, Gideon. Did not believe what the angel said. He was scared and said, "How can I save Israel?" But after God showed him two miracles, Gideon had enough trust and faith in God to do what He said. Gideon now had the courage to go and battle against this huge enemy army. And so, what happened was, Gideon had. Heard from God and heard about this big, crazy plan. God said, "Take three hundred men instead of thirty-two thousand that he began with, and take them to fight this army. Only three hundred men." Then he said to grab the weapons and to not use them. The Lord told Gideon to grab a trumpet and blow it like this. Dun, 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 and grab some jars with torches inside and smash them together. Then the whole army shouted, "A sword for the Lord and the sword for Gideon!" You see, Gideon and his army listened to God, and because of this, the Midianite army got so scared that they started turning on each other and attacking one another. The Lord. God was with Gideon and his men, and because of this, the Midianites were defeated, and the Lord's army with Gideon won. Gideon is a mighty warrior, and that's why I'm his biggest fan. Wow, that was quite the battle. But when God told me to fight, I didn't think I could do it. You see, our enemy, the devil, wants to trick us into believing. That we're not good enough, or we're too small. That's because he knows that if we realize who we really are, we become ninja warriors who can defeat him. When God told me who I really was, my spirit came to life, and I realized that when I believed in God, I could be a mighty warrior. The Bible says in Daniel eleven two that those who know their God shall be strong and mighty, and do mighty exploits and mighty things. Once we know that we are strong and mighty in God, nothing is impossible. Are you ready, Gideon, to take on this course? You bet. I know God has made me strong and mighty, so I can do all things through His strength. All right, all you at home, let's go. Welcome back to Ninja Warrior Judges series. This time we have another judge, all the way from Israel, Gideon. Here we go. Whoa! He absolutely flies through the rings and straight into the army net. You can see the determination on his face. This is a kid that is not messing around. He almost makes it to the top, and he makes it. Okay, now he's sprinting all the way to the fireman's pole. Go! Oh, he got there before I could even say it. 
Okay, now he's at the double wall. This is where he needs to bring out his inner spidey senses. He's making, oh, not quite. Okay, now we make it to the foot rings. Just a reminder that the majority of contestants fail in this challenge. He seems to be struggling. Can he make it through? I don't think he can. He's struggling. He's hanging around like a monkey with nowhere to go. Oh, this is a sad sight for Gideon. Oh no, Gideon has reached a tricky spot. Do you think he will be able to make the course? He'll have to remember who God says he is. We'll have to find out next week on Ninja Warrior Judges All-Star. Hey everyone, I'm here with my friends again today because we've got a letter from you guys talking about who we are, if we're shy, if we're courageous, if we're bold, our identity. So I've got some friends who are going to help us to chat about that today. Why don't you guys say hello? Hi kids, I'm Hannah. And I'm Caleb. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming today, everyone. So let's read out the letter that you guys have sent in from home and see what this tricky situation is. It says, Hi, Kids Church. I read in the Bible the other day how God says that the righteous people, people that are made right before God, are as bold as a lion. I want to believe that I can be a bold person, but for a long time, people have told me that I'm really shy. When we were out at a restaurant the other night, the waiter said if I sang a song, I would be able to get free ice cream for dessert. My brother spoke on my behalf and said there was no way that I would do it because I was too shy. So instead he sang for the restaurant and gave me just a little bit of the ice cream. I would really have liked to give it a go and got on a whole plate of ice cream for myself, but I was too scared. Am I always just going to be the shy brother or can I be as bold as a lion? Even though God has created us to be strong and mighty, sometimes we can struggle to believe that. So why do you guys think we find it hard sometimes to believe what God says about us? Because if we keep on comparing ourselves to other people, we'll think we're worse than them. Mm. That's a really good point that if we compare ourselves to others, then we'll forget who God made us to be and that can make us feel bad. That's really good. What do you think, Kenna? I think it's when we get jealous of others and they start breaking us down because they show off and they think they're better than us mm. and we start thinking that we're worse. Yeah, that's a really good point. So it sounds like when we're spending lots of time focusing on who other people are rather than who God made us to be, right? We can lose sight of the awesome way that He's made us. That's really true. So... What do you guys think are some tips that you have for believing what God says about us? Maybe you're at home and you don't feel like you're strong and mighty. So how can we enc encourage them to believe what God says about them? They could pray because God knows who they are and knows everything about them. Yeah, that's awesome. Pray to God and ask God to show you who you are and He'll encourage you. That's so true. What do you think, Hannah? We could read the Bible. The Bible helps us to believe in who we are. Yeah, that's awesome. So reading the Bible, yeah, because the Bible is God's Word, right? What God says about you. That was awesome advice, guys. Thank you for answering those questions. You are so smart. So, Caleb, would you like to pray for the kids at home that are feeling maybe like they're not strong and mighty, that they would know who God says they are? Awesome. Dear Lord Father, I pray that today will be a good day and tomorrow will and that all the kids who think they're shy, that God will show them that they're bold and that people will stop putting them down. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That was awesome. Thanks so much. I'm super excited to see how bold and courageous you guys can be. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. That was so awesome. I wonder if any of you guys are feeling like that kid that wrote in the letter. You want to be strong and courageous, but... Sometimes you feel shy. Well, the truth is, it all starts with believing what God says about you. Reading the Bible and finding when He says that you are strong and courageous. Asking God to help you and praying that He would be with you and fill you with courage. So if you're feeling shy right now, why don't you sing this next song and ask God to fill you with that courage to show you who you, He really has created you to be. He hasn't given you a fearful spirit, but He has made you courageous. So let's sing this song. And I'm believing that God is gonna give you some bold courage right now. Courage, 
church of our Savior on the cross for the hope of mankind. Our sin upon His shoulders, giving all so that we could have life. What a how God gives us such an amazing identity. We are made in His image. Absolutely, guys. We can be bold and courageous like that memory verse says, so we do not get distracted by that sneaky, sneaky enemy. Mm -hmm. That's right. And Gideon didn't get distracted either. In fact, he was known for hearing from God, and he got some pretty interesting instructions. Way out there. Wait so let's there. be honest, anything can happen from here. Absolutely, anything can happen from here. Now guys, we're gonna say goodbye, but if you wanna give your heart to Jesus, make sure that you stick around for this next clip. But for us, for now, see you next time. See you guys next on time Ninja on Ninja Warrior All Stars. <laughs> Bye. Congratulations! It is so awesome that you have decided to give your heart to Jesus. The angels in heaven are having a party right now. Woohoo! The Bible says, God loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son. Whoever believes in Him won't die, but will have everlasting life. You see, God didn't create us to be like robots obeying His every command. God wanted us to choose to love Him because we want to but giving us the choice meant that we could also choose not to follow God. The very first people that God made, Adam and Eve, chose to disobey God. When we do wrong things, it's called sin and it separates us from God. We can try and be good enough, try to never do anything wrong, 
But the truth is, none of us will ever be good enough to be friends with God. But here is the good news. God did a wonderful thing. He sent His only Son, Jesus, to come to earth, to live a perfect life, who never did anything wrong. Then He died on the cross to take our punishment for our sins. Jesus dying on the cross broke down the wall that separated sin, separating us from God. Jesus rose from the dead three days later. And now when we believe in Him and we ask Him to come into our heart, we can have a relationship with God that lasts forever. So would you like to give your heart to Jesus right now? We can pray a simple prayer together, inviting God into your heart. Let's repeat these words together. Close your eyes with me. Dear God, I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done. Please come into my heart and forgive me. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross and rising from the dead. Amen. That is so awesome that you have given your heart to Jesus. Woohoo! There are some more things that you can do to get to know God better now that He's your best friend. The first one is to pray. Praying is just talking to God. You can't see God, but He hears every word that you say to Him. You could pray to Him when you're scared, or you could thank Him for how much He loves you. God wants you to talk to Him about everything. The second thing that you can do is to go to a church. You could join us here online every Sunday. Or maybe there's a great church close to you. You could ask your mum and dad to take you there. When you're at church, you get to hear more about God and learn more about Him. The third thing that you can do is to tell others about Jesus. God's gift of Jesus is so wonderful, but it's not just for you. God wants everyone to know Him. So why don't you tell your friends at school, your brothers and sisters and your parents how much God loves them. The fourth and final way to get to know God better is to read your Bible. Did you know God wrote a book telling all about how much He loves you and His great plans for the world? We would love to send you a Bible on us. So email us at kids at cityimpactchurch.com and we would love to send you a Bible or tell us that you gave your heart to Jesus. Remember, the more time you spend with God, the more you become like Him and the more you'll discover the amazing plans that He has for you. We'd love to hear from you and we are so excited for you.